Hello everyone, welcome back to Amma's Stairs. Today we will be preparing vegetable stairs spaghetti with meat. Please stay with me and see how I prepared it. First of all, you have to cut your meat in the sizes or slice them in the sizes that you want it to be. And here I'm doing just that. You can use any meat of your choice. You can use uh, the fillet that have nothing but the fillet meat. But I like using this one that have some, part, uh, some fat in it. So after that, I'll go ahead and add onion powder to it. Yes. Add black pepper. Add my meat stock. Then one teaspoon of corn flour. Go ahead and mix them together, cover them with thin nylon and pull them in the refri uh, refrigerator. This stays overnight, but if you are in the haze, you can put it in your freezer for two hours. Then the vegetable I'll be using is uh, the three green, uh, uh, the green, <laughs> the three bell pepper. I'll be using yellow, red, green. So I'll go ahead and call them here. I will try to cut them to have the same size like that of my uh, meat. So here they are, I've cut them all, onions, carrots, green pepper, red pepper and yellow. I'll go ahead and put my meat in a dry pan. Add a little oil and stir. Keep stirring. It may bring some water out. Don't worry. Keep stirring until it becomes brown like this. And the other side, I will be putting in my spaghetti. This is it. We are family of four. Once it cover, your hand covers it like this. It's okay. Yeah. So after I put the spaghetti in the hot water, I take out my fried meat. I'll go ahead now and uh, grate my ginger and uh, garlic. You can use dry one, but I prefer it fresh because I'm going to fry it until it turns brown so that the whole aroma will caramelize with the oil. <laughs> so here I have finished cooking my spaghetti. Put them in a cold water if you don't want them to be sticky and sieve them out. Look at it there. It's very okay. It's not strong. It's not soft. So all these ingredients are ready to be stir fried. In the same oil, I'll first of all add my garlic and ginger. As I said earlier, I will stir fry them until they are golden in color. Then I'll go ahead and add the onions as I have done. I'll stir them, add carrot. I will not uh, be making them to be soft because we want to enjoy the crunch, crunchness of it. Add the three bell pepper and go ahead and stir them very well. After that, I add my vegetable stock paprika, black pepper, and salt. I will stir again to combine properly. I'm adding a soya sauce now. 
about where one and a half to seven is okay. Also, I added Maggi Hugo for test. Yeah, <laughs> I like it instead uh, fry instead frying. Now we introduce our fried uh, meat. Mix all of them until it's well combined like this. I'll go ahead and uh, share them into two parts and add the spaghetti because if we put everything together oh, you are going to have a stoggy and in fact you won't understand it but if you do it like this it's going to be you know one by one it will be fluffy and there will be no uh, sticking together so gently do this thing you can see the type of spoon that i'm using don't use something that will make them to stay together or to break the length of the spaghetti so I'll mix them thoroughly well, gently, as I always say, with respect. <laughs> and that is the outcome there. I didn't add any paste, tomato paste here. There is a different one you can make with tomato paste, but I didn't add any concentrated tomato in this because I want them to be veggies and also crunchy when you are eating them. So that is the outcome of it. You go on and stare and throw up. If you can do that, don't go and throw your food away. <laughs> so now I'll be scooping them out to my glass uh, bowl uh, or glass plate to be able to fry the next one. And that is it, guys. It is ready. Yes. This is the outcome of it here. Isn't that beautiful? Yes, everybody like it. I'm going to say uh, serve them now. We really enjoyed it. Yeah. And that was it. You can try this recipe. We use it as a dinner that day. You can serve it as lunch or dinner. It's very healthy and something you can enjoy. So my people, thank you so much for coming by to watch. Please, if you have not subscribed, do so and see you in my next video.